Well, it's been a, it's been a, a little, well over 24 hours. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. I, I just need, I guess I need to just talk. So that's what I'm doing. If I look frazzled, that's because I am. Um, I have been like what I call a half vacation. So I'm letting my students run the club, you know, even though I'm there to open doors, make sure, you know, the students listen to them. But for the most part, I'm letting them do their thing and letting students run certain aspects, um, which is good. Everybody needs leadership time, right? And uh, so during this time, I was either sick. And so I started fall cleaning. And one of the things I found was my 2023 goals. Um, I'm gonna put this under the Kiari One uh, video because I was going to, I did a video and then I never edited it or uploaded it. So on the fourth Wednesday, I have, I go see the neurosurgeon and I have so, I'm, I'm gonna get a notebook and I'm gonna be writing down questions and things I've noticed. And one of the things I noticed is I get these neck explosions and that's exactly what they feel like. I've had pinched nerves and I'm pretty sure it's a nerve thing, but it, anyways, I get like these explosions right here in my neck and I can feel them build. But when they happen, my vision gets better. I speak clearer. I have better gait. I like, I feel better. <laughs> you know, like, so I'm gonna bring that up. I'm going to be bringing up a lot of things. If, if I can get to my appointment Wednesday, because yesterday when I was going to class, uh, my car decided to die. <laughs> so I got it pushed to a safe spot, walked to class. <sighs> And thank God I was not in charge. And so I was able to take care of stuff that I needed to get taken care of and get things planned so we can get the car. Literally, that was only two blocks away from the place that I would take it to. <laughs> Which is, and so we're trying to think like, I, like Emmett, I think his name is from Vint Tire. He's like, he's, he's watching this. Cause it's literally two blocks away watching my little car go boop, 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 boop. and he's like hi Steph and I'm like hi it's like he just hands me the tow strap I'm like all right <laughs> we're either gonna tow it or we're gonna be pushing it here and he's like just, we'll make room and he did he only had one vehicle that was it in his parking lot so so after class <sighs> Darren God, he just grabbed people and then Chris helped out. He's another, he's my student. And they pushed my car back into the main road and then pushed me, which was luckily downhill. So I was able to go down the coast and hill and weave in to cars coming at me. Oh God, I'm like, it's cool. We weave in and I parked exactly in the parking spot that you need to park at. Like it wasn't any weird angles. It was like, I'm purposely meant to park this car there. So, woo, talking about good karma. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm a little nervous that I will not make, but I have the ability to make it to my neurosurgery. I'm a little nervous, but luckily Darren said he'll try to help me out. We'll see how that goes. If not, I will be calling my insurance guy and I'll, see how I can get a rental and how you have it dropped off so I can uh, get to my appointment because I need my appointment. Like I can't miss this. I cannot miss this day. Like this is an incredibly important day. I have to be an hour away <laughs> in pain and I have to do this. Like I've already missed one opportunity and even if I hadn't gone on vacation, I still ended up sick. So I missed my eye appointment. I would have missed that appointment. So yeah, I'm nervous because I really need to speak to this person. And I know they already 
have looked at my file, they have confirmed there is spinal compression, it is, he confirmed it's my uh, carry one, so first up, check, right? <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm honestly very stressed about that, but so I have been uh, anxiety clean and I've been deep cleaning the house and so back to this thing, right? My goals of 2023. You guys ready for this? Website, sell more items, organizing it, upload Dharma Talks, didn't get that done. Uh, figure out subscriptions, haven't figured that out. Upload postcards, I did get that done. Um, I did sell some items, but they're still there. I think he, for the website, um, I need to upload more stuff for prints that I would like to have sell, sold. And I might just limit them to 20 and per item so that way i think that would be pretty cool you know get these out of here and then after 20 prints are done for item they're done i'm taking it off the website and we're retiring that artwork for now maybe there'll be some if really wanted i'll bring it back and i'll have a category called by demand from the genre crew so Go to my website, <laughs> check out the artwork, because at the end of the year, I'm replacing all that with the most newest of artworks and some favorites. So um, the ones that I have been selling, I'll keep on there. So, because that seems the ones have been sold, but the ones that have not been bought, I'm going to take those off. Anyways, so that's my, that's what I'm thinking about with the website. And then uh, upload my Dharma talks. I tried doing that and I was confused. So, I know, and I have stickers. Um, I'm waiting on Mystic Printing Company, the ones that have done my um, Kung Fu uniform stuff, right? So, we have hoodie shirts, you know, merch gear, um, uniforms for students that like would like, because I just don't have the room for storage. So it's a print on demand and they mail it to you. So I don't have to do this, right? Um, ah, so anyways, so if you want to help the club, you can go to the site below and buy a t-shirt. All those, all, those all those proceeds go directly to the club. Okay, that's where all that money will go. And uh, so yeah, help out there. Cause, and really good news. <laughs> I, this last Wednesday, we had the first board meeting for the club so I can take my first official step towards making it a nonprofit, which means I can then go teach and get funds and grants so I can afford to go and set up free classes for women or the plus community and set up self-defense classes and let them have peer support or I can take on students that can't pay for it because a lot of the times the parents just are they're too embarrassed or they're too shy you know and I'm like just talk to me I will work with you like I do work with my students I get it I'm poor like $941 a month does not pay for shit at all I get it so I will work with them right now our bills are incredibly low so I can do so you know 20 like I will work with you. So please talk to me. Just be honest though. Don't take advantage, but be honest, right? I just want to teach your kids how to be safe because I know what it's like to be a child that wasn't. That's all I want to do. I just wish I could do it for free. I wish I was financially stable enough to do it for free. And I would, because I truly believe in what I do. So making this a nonprofit helped me get to the, be able to do that. I would be so happy. Oh my goodness, it'd be so wonderful. So, last last Wednesday, we got the board done. Oh my God, <sighs> so happy. That was a huge step. Um, then, speaking of YouTube, yeah, YouTube. 
1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of view time, start Wheel of Creativity videos, which I did, which I need to get back on, um, organize the videos I have. I did try doing that a little bit. Do better thumbnails. I got a little bit better. <laughs> we'll make that a wavy check. Um, I did okay on that. Like, I'm starting to do better. So, like, right now, the, um, oh, God. This one video of the guy who does, like, God Makes Dogs videos, I cannot remember his name. I'll, I'll plug the video link down below. There's gonna be a lot of links down below. But, <laughs> this basement's gonna be filled. Anyways, um, his video is, like, taking off because he's been promoting himself super hard so I didn't realize like how important going with social media helps your channel but I can't keep up with all of social media's different trends because I can't afford this so this was a nice little uptick in YouTube um, activity thank you thank you universe good karma <laughs> was not expecting to see like i think last night it was like 791 views and we got more subscribers and that was pretty cool up i needed that little upper <laughs> it was such it was a good much needed upper so um the thumbnails definitely help definitely learned that you have to go if you really want to stay on top of things you got to go with the trends and i don't want to be I don't mind unboxing. Like, I love unboxing for Sketchbox because I love Sketchbox. You know what I mean? And I want them to be my first sponsor. I want them. That's like, that's the goal. I mean it, Sketchbox. I mean it. Like, that would be a wonderful, like, goal. And just, yeah, I'm, mm, I'm excited because I enjoy, like, most of my art supplies is from Sketchbox. <laughs> oh, like all of this artwork I've been using, most of it's all Sketchbox. So it's awesome. Social media sites. I upload on a regular basis. Figure out best social site. I figured that one out. So I was on Twitter, now X. And thank you. I want to do a shout out right now. Thank you to the hacker who hacked my account and completely destroyed all of my one year's worth of hard work. Thank you because you actually helped me avoid an extremely idiotic <laughs> social media experiment, whatever he is doing. Oh my God, it's just, thank you for helping me just miss out on a hot mess. <laughs> I appreciate it. Is, wow um yeah it's sad because that was a lot of hard work but at the same time it's like whoo missed the bullet on that one so thank you hacker um the other social sites Louie is doing a really good job so i'm on tiktok and the art i try to do art little videos and i do a lot of posting of the critters so if you really would like to see more of my puppers like this handsome dude right here. Yeah, it's just so little, little handsome. Mommy loves you. Um. Yeah, go to go go to TikTok. That's where I've been posting things, and um, especially the kittens and the cats and the bird, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> so my main two ones is TikTok and uh, and YouTube. I'm on Facebook, but I am really struggling with Facebook because that's usually where I get my commissions and my commission levels now are like dismal. <laughs> I have one working commission right now and that is it. Normally at this time of year, I have five or six going on. I'm switching through and I have nothing. So if you would like to hire me for artwork, <laughs> Hi, <laughs> get a hold of me, please. <laughs> I would love to do some artwork. Um, we'll talk. I, I, I could use the money. 
I definitely to fix my car <laughs> and to feed you know that handsome 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 beast you are a gorgeous dog yes you are you're just a cute cute boy and just driving nuts anyways novel i know i haven't spoken a lot about that lately or talked about the books i've done like jess and i are at the point now where we are doing um, Friday night uh, book novel, reading reviews and edits. We're going through it. We're talking about it. She's helping me like make it more snappy. She's adding the just touch and she's doing such an incredible job. And I'm so thankful it's her because like, she's like, no, Jess, we gotta have this in here. Okay, but this sounds really weird. I was like, okay, well, how would you put it by still keeping this in there? And she's nailing it. She's, oh God, I'm so grateful that she's working with me. She's going to make this book my first novel so kick ass. <sighs> yeah, I have that going on <laughs> on top of brain insanity. Um, I, I'm so excited. And then plus there's Louie's book, which is on my website. Um, if you buy from me, it's $15, but you'll get a stamp photo. So I, I even have a video on making Louise paw print. Um, I'll post that down below too. God, I got a lot of links to post down below. Um, you'll get his paw print, you'll get a photo of him, you'll get bookmarks, you'll get a whole bunch of stickers. Um, I'm hoping down the road when Mystic gets their uh, sticker thing going, I am going to be able to do some really cool stickers of louie and some art stickers that i want to put on the website too so i got that goal in the future to go so and then um i i just want to think about all this stuff but the brain thing and i can't it's just like right there it's just so in my face because it's getting so close and i'm nervous um so yeah and then I know people would like me to do a book on Bernie, my European starling. Like everybody's very curious. Do a book on Bernie, do a book on Bernie. I just, I want to, but I just don't know how to do it, you know? And I'm just not, not sure I want to, but I'm not sure how it was style or yeah, I just, it's still rummaging through the brain. And right now it's really on the back burner because I got so many major things going on that, are pretty serious <laughs> you know um book signings and book fairs i i've canceled that this year because honestly i'm too stressed it's been it's been really it's been a rough year um a good year but a rough year my f year of 42 has been absolutely epic it really has um louie is training my service dog right um, I found my old trainer who oversaw my training for my service dog. Um, I need to train him for planes because I'm terrified of planes and he needs to know how to stay calm and to also help me through it because <laughs> I hate flying. Oh, which is a kind of an inside joke in my novel is Carmen also happens to be terrified of flying and there is a scene in the book. Here's a little tiny spoiler of me freaking out and that poor guy you had to. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. So once I get the book and you wanna know what happened, you're gonna have to go and buy the book and <laughs> read this one particular scene, which I find absolutely terrifyingly funny. So yeah, anyways, but so $250, she can hook me up and get him, we can get training done for planes. So if I ever have to fly, my dog knows what to do and she can teach me how to do this because at this point, I'm going to be triggered. He is going to feel that trigger, right? And I need him to be able to do his job during these moments and where he's calm you know, and I can hold him and he's like, I got you, mom. Don't be scared. This is cool. Like, I need someone to make it super fun for him to override my triggers. Like, I have to have him be able to do these things, right? 
because taking off terrifies me. Drops and <laughs> flights scare the shit out of me. You know what I mean? And it's just, he needs to know what to do. And I, I, I don't know how to even begin this. So my former trainer, Jackie, I'm going to have her help me do this because this is important. And I also need to find a train. And I think he's going to do great for train. It's training him to not get excited on the train. Like teaching him to not bark and, rah, and sound like I'm murdering my dog. So I need to have this, um, I need this training and I'm thinking the Halloween train rides is going to be the best training because they're more open. It's a very short ride. I can just keep circling through and just having this particular seat where he learns what to do. And I think that'll be great for the training for, cause I love to travel by train. If I could travel by train, I would, cause I love it. You can walk around. It's not as painful. Uh, I enjoy the movement and the swaying. It feels good on my body. So I prefer trains. So I think that's how I'm going to train him on the train. What else I got in here? Kung Fu! I've got a lot of my got more students. I did go private. Um, I might be getting, I got new goals and plan for that. So my whole Kung Fu, while I'm not up to snuff in my personal training uh, where I wanna be, I'm okay with that. Cause right now I am building a good foundation. So before I can even get to where I would like to be in my personal training. Right now I gotta build the foundation. Soon I'm tail energy, right? You gotta do that. Um, Zen, I feel like despite the fact that I've been less active in the Zen Center, I still feel like I'm doing and focusing on my presets and, and my needed goals. And I have done Dharma talks and I've, yeah. And I am still below one. I got to below 140 because I was almost at 160. Believe it or not, can you believe me? 160 pounds? I didn't look it. I did not look it, but I was feeling heavy. So I did get down to below 140. I'm very happy. I have been able to maintain 137 to 139, which is what I wanted. Go me. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I can on a really good day walk all the way to the end of the street and back and not feel winded. But right now, depending on the day, I may only be able to do four blocks and then some days I'm almost to my end goal at the end of the street and I have to turn around and I'm like, okay, whoo, I gotta turn around now or we are gonna be really dragging. So, I'm not where I need to be for winter and I'm scared about that on top of dealing with the brain, you know? So I'm, I got some huge medical, huge medical fears I got going this year. And I don't know if the weather change means that our winters will hopefully be kinder and will be a lot more warmer or if it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot more colder and wetter I don't know. So all I know is that usually our winters are, it's you're, it's so dry and cold. So the wind chills and the ache hits your bones to where you swear if someone just went ding, your whole entire bones would shatter. Like it's so painful. It hurts. It just freaking hurts. But the treadmill helped last year. So I do have that. It was is good for me and Lou. It's in good working order. I do have a good idea where to get parts and how to fix it. I do gotta get to the eye doctor. I have that rescheduled. So, oh my goodness. I did get a little bit of photography in this year. So I am happy. And then I did get some, oh, and my art. I got into the fair and won the best to show. Oh, and all but I got first prize and honorable mention and second prize in one of my wood burns. So 
Oh, I gotta do all these updates. Like, I gotta get all these updates on the website, which will like show all of these things, right? Like, I need a section for awards. I really want to just redo my website and just promote myself proper. But I'm just so uh, you know, and I've been trying to clean this house in a way where when it this happens and I get the surgery and I have everything cleaned and everybody like the dogs know where the toys are supposed to be at and like everything has been super clean from the up down so if I have to do a light clean because I have to have the place clean constantly otherwise I can't worry <laughs> too many critters right so I made sure to get all the cobwebs get everything super clean and get things that I need set up so I can just keep things going the vacuum cleaners here my steamers working the shampooers working I'm just getting we got a brand new couch and let me tell you something I have never slept so good <laughs> I have been sleeping really well. I'm like, oh, I don't want to get off the couch. I feel so comfy. Oh, thank you again, Randy. Again, my buddy thanks you so much for the new couch. This has been a really expensive couple months, guys. So please go buy some prints so he doesn't have to pay for the car pairs. Please. Please. Oh, my goodness. So I have other ones. I never did get to see my first pride. But I did to get to share my students' first car cruise. And I got to rev up Serenity in honor of the cruise. That's a video. I'm going to start crying on that one. Celebrate my 42nd birthday like a badass. I did. Um, find a good camper. Check. I got my... I baked more. I did a little bit of reading. Still haven't gone fishing. Still haven't gone on my camping trip. I got, I am going to get to open mics and I have been invited by opening so much that my name registered at Guitar Center and they personally gave me a call and say, hey, we got guitars on sale. Hook, you know, call us back. Like, how often do you get a personal phone call from Guitar Center? That's, that's crazy, man. Anyways. That happened today. <laughs> um, redo the studio better. Get car detail, which I did. I did that this week and my car died on me. <laughs> I miss my car. Get more commissions, please. Um, I want to do a mural. I haven't done it. Oh, I did do a mural. I did want it in the kitchen, which still needs to get finished. But at the same time, I really like the creepy uh, Stewie portrait. <laughs> I kind of just like how it is. Uh, need to finish the left hand side though. Maybe. I don't know. I like it as it is. Screw it. It's done. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my hair. It's tickling my face. Alright guys. I um, This is my update. This is what I'm trying to like ignore my life big huge head issues with and um, I'm still trying to deal with loss and anger and frustrations and so I'm still in therapy and now I have a, an advocacy advocate to help me deal with some crap I went through last year and still got some healing to do and things are happening man this is a good year I mean it's intense <laughs> but it's a good year <laughs> Um, I'm not going to say I'm not impressed, but I'm terrified of this whole brain thing. It, it's a lot, and not having my car is a lot, because that's, I feel trapped even more so now. I feel trapped because, like, I can only at most go an hour without having to pull over and wanting to throw up because the pain gets really nauseating. And, um... Yeah, Wednesday's been an extremely painful trip. <laughs> I am going to try to record some of that. So if Darren can drive me there, I am going to record that live, so to speak. Um, I'm not maybe not live live, but um, I'm going to record that and I will <laughs> show you what it's like, I guess, to have that uh, communication. 
Um, and yeah, so heads up for that. But the main biggest concern right now is just getting there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I am. Um, <sighs> that's a lot, guys. Because I have such beautiful things, and I'm feeling very, very blessed, and I'm really appreciative of the good karma. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, I just, yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. God, you're beautiful. What is a beautiful puppy? You know that? Yes, you are. You're so lucky. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I know what you want. Yeah. You want this. His addiction. He needs to go be a man. You need to be <laughs> All right. I'm going to go play with my dog. And you guys have a wonderful... Uh, day and thank you for listening for the last 31 minutes so love you guys and thanks for all the support and peace